Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Christopher. And we are Snitty. We are making games and we are currently participating in a two week long game jam called My First Game Jam Summer 2019. The theme of the jam is Pride. Uh, so we actually did a lot of brainstorming and came up with three different ideas. Yes, uh, our first idea was a uh, city builder. We've been sketching it out on this whiteboard over here. And we then had a farming game for an idea where you were supposed to protect your prized crop. And our final idea is the one we decided to go for. And that is a stealth dog game, which feature our two little doggos. It's going to be a cute game, yeah, but stealthy and dark. So the main uh, plot for it is it's a stealth game where you play as a chihuahua who has to infiltrate the Garden of Moritz, who happens to be a cow terrier. To find his pride and joy, the legendary squeaky toy of all squeaky toys with unlimited squeakiness. Yep. Uh, this is a real toy, though. So first of all, we came up with a game design document so that we could outline the core mechanics and all of the different puzzles that we were going to be making. So we could have a good idea of what we would be making in general and a good idea of what assets we make. So we first started making the character movement and can it move around. And we didn't encounter any problems with that script uh, until we kind of started making the guard patrol system where we set up waypoints and wanted to make sure that the guard would actually detect the player. We decided to do our first live Twitch stream. And it was actually during that that we realized that there was no detection. And thankfully, everyone on the Twitch stream were really, really helpful. And we were able to figure out the problem. But we first of all had to have a roller coaster of a chihuahua, which obviously was pretty hilarious, but I don't think that's how you're going to control the player. So we ended up having to make quite a lot of changes to that, making removing the character controller and instead using a rigid body so that the guard would actually detect the player as opposed to not at all. Thank you to everybody that actually was on the Twitch stream with us and helping us with our coding problems. It was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed twitching all of our, you know, game, really. Thank you. While we haven't designed um, the dog models ourselves and animated them, uh, we are planning to make all the other assets for the game. And uh, we've been working quite a bit in uh, Blender. It's been really fun with the new version of Blender that's been out. Uh, modeling there is quite uh, straightforward and uh, intuitive. Uh, we are also working for the uh, atmosphere of the game and trying to make it like nighttime and like you can only see a little bit with this nice lighting and stuff. So putting all the assets together, seeing how it works out. And that's where we're at really. I hope you liked what you saw, uh, like and subscribe, and we'll be sure to be posting more. No boops this time, I'm afraid, sorry. No boops. Boop. <laughs>